so why it is so important for us to have potassium? Well, potassium is a mineral that is essential for our bodies to function properly. It helps regulate our heart rate, maintaining health nerve function, regulate fluid balance, and ensure our muscles contract and relax correctly. But sometimes our bodies can have too little potassium, leading to a condition called low potassium or hypokalemia. This happens when the potassium levels in the blood drop too low, usually below 3.5 millimoles per liter, and it can cause a wide range of symptoms that can impact our overall health. So in this video, we will look at the most common signs and symptoms of low potassium that we should not ignore. Hi, Jitos the FarmD here. Welcome and please like and subscribe to the channel. Believe it or not, most of us do not get enough potassium from our diets. Just think about this for a moment. It is recommended that an adult should get at least 3,500 milligrams of potassium a day. And as you can see, it is a lot. Just to give you an example, you will have to eat at least 9 bananas or 4 medium avocados a day to meet the daily recommendation. The first sign of low potassium is muscle weakness or muscle cramps. Potassium helps regulate muscle function, so when potassium levels drop, it can cause your muscles not to work as well as they should. This can result in muscle weakness, where the muscles feel tired and heavy and make it hard to perform even simple activities. In addition, low potassium can also lead to muscle cramps, which is when muscles tighten up quickly without your control and cause sharp pain, especially in the legs. This can make it hard to walk or stand. Number two, constipation. Different conditions can cause digestive problems such as constipation. However, constipation is a common digestive problem that can occur when potassium levels drop too low. Potassium plays an important role in regulating the contractions of the smooth muscles in the digestive system, which helps keep food moving through the digestive tract. When potassium levels are low, these contractions can become weaker and cause digestive problems such as constipation. Low potassium can also cause other digestive issues like bloating, nausea, and vomiting. Number three, tiredness or fatigue. When potassium levels drop, it can leave you feel tired, sluggish, and lacking the energy you need to get through your day even after a good night's sleep. This happens due to potassium's role in regulating how your body uses nutrients and maintaining normal muscle function. Number four, tingling and numbness. Potassium deficiency can affect the electrical activity in your nerves, leading to tingling or numbness. Most people may start to notice numbness or tingling in their hands and feet. And if left untreated, Numbness and tingling can spread to other areas of the body. This can be a sign of nerve damage and should not be ignored. Number five, high blood pressure. Potassium has a major effect on blood pressure. It helps regulate the balance of sodium and other electrolytes in the body. Potassium and sodium work together to keep the fluid in your cells and bloodstream in balance which helps to maintain health blood pressure. When potassium levels are low, the kidneys retain more sodium, which can lead to increased blood pressure. This is why maintaining adequate potassium levels in your body is important for heart health, as high blood pressure is a risk factor for heart disease. Number six, irregular heartbeat. If you are experiencing heart palpitations or irregular heartbeat, it could be a sign that you do not have enough potassium. Potassium is important for maintaining a regular heartbeat. It helps regulate the electrical impulses that control the rhythm of your heart. When potassium levels drop, it can cause the electrical signals in your heart to become irregular. This can cause palpitations or an irregular heartbeat. Number seven, breathing problems. Low potassium levels in your body can make it hard to breathe. 
When the levels of potassium in your blood become very weak, it can impair the normal functioning of your muscles involved in breathing, including the diaphragm. This can cause trouble breathing or shortness of breath. Number 8. Excessive Urination or Polyuria The kidneys are critical in maintaining fluid and electrolyte balance in the body. When potassium levels are low, the kidney's ability to concentrate urine and balance electrolytes can be impacted. This can cause increased urination and thirsty, and the cycle can keep going, making the problem even worse. So you may ask, what can cause low potassium? Well, several things can cause low potassium levels, such as taking certain medications like diuretics or water pills, kidney disease, low magnesium, excessive sweating, vomiting, and diarrhea. The good news is that low potassium levels can be easily corrected and prevented by simply making dietary changes to include more potassium-rich foods such as bananas, beets, spinach, avocados, and salmon, just to name few. In severe cases, your doctor may also prescribe a potassium supplement. It is important to keep in mind that these symptoms can also be a sign of other health issues. So it is always a good idea to visit a doctor if you are experiencing any of these signs and symptoms. And there you have it. If you want to learn more about potassium, make sure to watch the video in the top right corner. And the link is also in the description below. Thanks for watching. I hope you find this video helpful. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel for more health and wellness videos. Have a wonderful day.